One of the things that we've added to the system is the ability to reject a job. So as an example, I'm on a service ticket that has been processed. The customer's taken the unit home, and now he's brought it back in the shop and said that the work that we did it was not appropriate. It didn't fix the problem, and he's upset with us. Well, in the past, we would just go in, create a new service ticket. We'd probably bill it to an internal, you know, to, to a a special account to, to pay for it, but we really didn't have a way to keep track of the fact that this mechanic is getting a lot of return work or that the shop in general is getting a lot of return work and specifically who did it and what, what the problem was. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually deal with this now with the new features that have been added to Lizzie. Now I am on a service ticket. One prerequisite is that we have to have a paid service ticket that has a unit on it and the job has to be attached to that unit so if you have an open job you're not going to be able to do this it, it's specifically uh, for keeping track of jobs that where we're actually working on a unit um, so when i go in here i've, I've got a, a job here it's processed here's the unit here's the job if i open up the detail on the job you'll see a new button that says the unit was returned for incomplete service so this button is what is going to allow us to not only tag this job as rejected, but it's also going to go ahead and create us a new service ticket and link them together so that the system knows that one was rejected and here was where the work actually got done. So in this case, I'm just going to select this button. The system tells me it's going to mark this as rejected and create a new service ticket. I'm going to say OK. And so now we have a new service ticket same unit already attached the repair job that we had done is here um, if we open up the detail on on the job you can see that it actually knows that this job is a rejection job and that it links to the original job of on on 15 162. so the system knows exactly um, what you just did and it keeps track of that information for reporting purposes uh, when you're actually running mechanic performance reports and such. So that's really all there is to, to keep in track of it. Once you're done with this ticket, um, obviously it would probably be a, a no charge ticket and you're just going to bill it against your internal uh, account to write off the, the charge. But uh, here you'll have who worked on the job, um, who, you know, who fixed it, that kind of thing, and, as well as what mechanics worked on it originally where the thing actually got rejected.